Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Wilhelm Scream, and welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and late fall season of The Witch Intel. Now, this Friday, most of us will be returning to the new revised version of the Crota's End Raid, and in it, you'll be able to receive the new revised version of the exotic auto rifle, the Necrochasm. Now, we won't have to jump through quite as many hoops in order to get this weapon like we did in D1, and all these steps because there will be a few steps in order to get the Necrochasm will be encompassed into the actual new version of the Crota's End Raid. There might be one quest step that you'll have to do outside of the raid, but that will only be after you've actually acquired said exotic. But that's not what I'm here to talk about today. This season, of course, has brought the Altar of Summoning, one of my favorite seasonal activities in quite some time. And if you've been progressing the story missions, you might have noticed that the Altar of Summoning has a few new activities in it this week that weren't there last week. Sometimes at the end of a Tier 2, you might actually see a bunch of Thrall run out, and you might hear a creepy voice. You might see the environment change slightly. This is all part of the seasonal exotic quest. Now, how do I know that there's an actual seasonal exotic quest? Well, because people have actually broken in to different areas of the Altar of Summoning and found that there is quite a bit more to it than we actually see right now. So, as the activities have also progressed week by week, as it seems for the first two weeks at least, we will also be accessing new areas of the Altar of Summoning as the season goes on, culminating in what is perceived to be an exotic quest mission. This one we might need to jump through a few hoops because certain things only appear randomly, like said bosses that also appear, secret bosses, in the Altar of Summoning if you do certain activities in a certain order. So I don't really know exactly what exotic this will be progressing to, but I can tell you the steps that we did, my fire team and I, big shout out to Lord Sinister, that got us to where we were at least engaging in these activities and fighting these secret bosses. Now the first secret boss that we actually encountered was a big tormentor. This was a very difficult encounter, I have to say. We did it on a Tier 3, but you don't actually need to be playing a Tier 3 in order to get the secret boss to arrive. I've seen them appear on Tier 2s. I don't know if they would appear on a Tier 1, but the difficulty of this secret boss might also be paired to whatever tier you're actually doing. So if you're trying to come across this encounter quickly, and complete it easily, you might not want to do a Tier 3. Now, there was two things that actually happened before this first secret boss arrived. One, the environment changed, it all went dark, and a horde of Thrall came running out from either side of the area of Altars of Summoning that we were in. Some fire scythes or solar scythes appeared, for all three members of my fire team, you were able to pick them up and take out the hordes of Thrall fairly easily. But that was only part one. Part two didn't come until we went to the next area, which brought with it this Tormentor boss. The Tormentor was shielded by Taken shields, and you had to kill other Taken in the area in order to get a drop that would allow you to take down the shields of the Tormentor. Now, the Tormentor is sort of the major secret boss, at least at this point of this progression, this seasonal progression, but it is not in any way the only one. There were other bosses seen by other YouTubers and other fire teams, so you just kind of have to see where you end up. But all of it, I believe, is leading towards a progression of the Altars of Summoning as well as a progression towards this new secret exotic. Now I'm going to leave a link in the description box down below to another YouTube channel 
by a fellow named Froggy, who I've actually been quite the admirer of for a long time. They specifically do box-breaking glitches, so out-of-bounds glitches. Not really the place to go if you're looking for the information on how to do activities, but if you want some spoilers and you want to know where things are going, definitely go check out their YouTube channel because they have found that not only is there a lot more to the Altars of Summoning, but it changes radically as we progress forward. So I'm really quite excited about this season because never have we really had so much tied into, I feel like, the returning raid as well as the progression of storyline really tied into the seasonal activity in such a way, at least not for quite some time, where it's this expansive and that we get really a solid activity, not just something that we have to do in order to progress to something that we want. I'm really enjoying the actual activity itself. I'm enjoying the rewards. When we did defeat these secret bosses, we did get what seemed like a slightly higher reward from Eris. I don't know exactly if there was another red border or just another roll on a weapon, but those are kind of small potatoes because really, as I've said, this is culminating towards a new exotic. So I would definitely actually suggest progressing these story missions this season because you never know what week we're actually going to get this on. But also, we don't know what week we're going to be actually accessing new areas of the Altar of Summoning. And that's going to be it for really all the information in today's video. As I find out more, I will let you know. But definitely jump into the Altars of Summoning. Try to get these secret bosses. It is a little bit of RNG, but we did seem to get a secret boss after about two rounds. From Tier 2 to Tier 3. So defeat those first two bosses and you should get some sort of prompt that will tell you that the new secret boss or one of the new secret bosses is arriving. Or at least you'll get a prompt that throws out a bunch of thrall or a slightly new activity within the Altar of Summoning that you didn't summon yourself that will eventually lead to the encounter with the new secret boss. Thanks so much for watching today. Hopefully you found something in this video helpful. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and turn on the bell to post notifications so you never miss out on any future Destiny 2 Lightfall content like this. You can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They'll be linked in the description box down below. Remember, any of those things also enter you into any future giveaways on this YouTube channel, and I do want every 1,000 subscribers, so you never want to miss out. We're also doing another giveaway when we reach 1,000 followers on Instagram, and when we reach 100,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel, we'll be giving away an Xbox Series X. And if you've watched till this point in the video, please leave a hashtag Altar of Summoning, or a hashtag Crota's End, or a hashtag Lightfall, or a hashtag Season, season of the Witch, in the comments section down below. I'll give you another entry into the next giveaway for this video. And remember those secret hashtags, they stack between all videos. So if you haven't done this on a previous piece of content on this channel, you can always go back, check out another video, and of course do it again. I'm gonna let this gameplay just play out a little bit so you can actually see the encounter a little bit more if there's anything you're trying to pick up on specifically. But once more, I am Wilhelm Scream. Thanks so much for watching again, and of course, we will see you next time. Little!